Hello, collective. Welcome back to my platform. I am sending you all lots of love, joy, peace, and happiness. Many, many blessings to you and your family, as always. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You are greatly appreciated for all of your support. I return to source. I return to sender or negative energy and intent immediately and permanently. I call in one of the purest of white lights. As I have said, so shall it be. Anything your enemies have stolen from you is being returned to you. All evil and negative plans of the enemies against you and your loved ones are dismantled, are being dismantled as we speak. As I have said, so shall it be. Judgment is final. So someone out there, you could be a queen of wands or uh, whoever this is, this is in regards to you were in some type of line up with a king of cups. Um, he was expecting to receive some type of opportunity. This will have to do with work or some type of abundance that belongs to you. But judgment has been made in this situation that you will be receiving this opportunity or you will be receiving your abundance. If this is an inheritance, someone may have stolen this from you or tried to block it from you in the past. But the universe has stepped in. Your ancestors have stepped in to correct things and bring balance in this situation. So you will be receiving what is yours. Someone is being exposed as a king of cups that is in the reverse. So this could be someone that has been pretending to be something they are not. It's like someone has been getting by. It's like if I just pretend a little longer, they're gonna pretend they're gonna believe that I am an actual king of cups in the upright. But someone was only able to pretend for so long, right? And now the truth is out about them. Someone is seeing a masculine or a group of people may be seeing a masculine for exactly who they are excuse me you guys know i struggle with this deck shuffling this deck for some reason on my channel so that's kind of just part of this channel's identity now when you come here the reader on this channel the reader on the reader on ascended definition priestess uh does not know how to shovel or has a problem with shoveling her deck consistently every video so we're gonna make that part of the identity of this channel if it bothers you I advise you to find another channel to watch. There are numerous other channels where the readers are just fluent in shuffling these decks with no issues. It's not over here, okay? Okay, so let's get back to this read. However, even though we struggle with shuffling the deck over here, our reads are genuine, our reads are compassionate, our reads are straightforward with a bit of humor to it. So if you like things like that, then try to stay and enjoy the content with everybody else, right? Take what, take what applies to you and leave the rest for either later or someone else. So we have, you know, this King of Cups, someone thought that they could pretend to be just in the upright for just long enough to receive something that did not belong to them. Someone is out of balance, basically. Someone is very hostile. Someone is emotionally crazy, right? They may be losing their temper behind the scenes while you're having victory or because you are having victory. Someone thought they were successful in blocking your forward movement or blocking you from receiving something. The fact that you are still receiving your abundance is a tower for this person. While you are elevating, someone is going through some type of ending. Someone in here may have made some type of deal with the wrong energy right someone may have you know made a deal either with the piper and things didn't go in their favor they may not be able to pay the piper now but you know somebody has to pay the piper okay the piper always comes to collect so i don't know what to tell them but whatever they were trying to block it looks like it is coming into fruition it is going to be successful if this was a union in business or romance it absolutely is coming together this is a final judgment by your ancestors this is a union or a collaboration that is going to be successful and it's very beneficial for both lineages right oh look at that your sister said the word today without any problem you all know i struggle with certain words on this channel lineages and maliciousness look at me it, god is good all the time all the time god is good look at us progressing on this channel anyway so someone 
has to pay the piper. It said people probably made a deal behind the scenes that hey, make sure these two don't get together, okay? We're paying you this amount or we're gonna pay you this amount if these two do not get together. But it looks like the most high, your angels, they stepped in and said, yeah, absolutely they are. Whoever made that, that uh, deal with the piper, with the devil, they made their bed, they're gonna have to lay in it. They, they're gonna be losing quite a lot. I would not be sorry for this person because they knew what they were getting into. Never in life should you commit yourself to the downfall of another person or other people. <clears throat> meaning, <clears throat> excuse me, meaning whoever approached this person to make them an, an offer, whoever this person made an agreement with, they knew the magnitude of what they were interfering with. There's a lot of spirituality going on here, okay? So they understood that if things didn't work out, there would be repercussions. Maybe they didn't understand it to the full extent, but there were consequences. Someone made it clear to them, hey, if these two get together, this is going to happen, okay? If they don't get together, then you're in the clear. And someone said, yeah, I can get the job done. So they made it their mission to interfere with the connection, and it looks like... The piper has come to collect. Somebody has to pay the piper. While you two are about to be having some type of fresh beginning together, you and your business partner or your love partner, right? Someone is about to be going through a lot of troubles, a lot of heartache, a lot of like pains. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're about to be going through a whole lot. But this new beginning for you is in short. You may be receiving some type of assistance from someone. Some of you could be going through tumultuous times right now when it comes to finances or your stability. Um, but your, your ancestors are stepping in to take care of this problem um, to make sure that you are okay. There's something where the universe is wanting me to tell you all or your ancestors' spirit is wanting me to tell you to kind of back off. There's some type of situation you are dealing with where you've been trying to handle by yourself or on your own terms. <clears throat> And they are telling you to back off, get your hands off. They are taking care of it. You may be complicating something more than it needs to be complicated. Um, so get up, back off, right? Your enemy, yeah, back off. Your enemies are being taken care of. They want you to just stay calm, collect. Yeah, stay calm. Focus on your healing, focus on your progress, focus on other things that will help you ascend. Whatever this issue is, they're telling you to kind of just back off and leave it to them, they'll take care of it, okay? So you may be worrying a lot, you know, you don't have anything to worry about. Your enemies have something to worry about. This King of Cups is going through an ending. This King of Cups in the reverse. Someone is going to be exposed in a really horrendous way that they didn't expect. It's like someone has been working behind the scenes. Let's say, for example, two masculines are friends, right? <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my throat. Excuse me while I get a drink of water. I don't know what's going on. I refute all illnesses, return to sender, whoever send me any type of sick energies, negative energy, I return it to sender, I'm not sick, I'm literally not sick, you all, but for some reason, when I sat down to do my read, my throat is not clearing up, so they, someone does not want me talking, apparently, <clears throat> Anyways, there's someone behind the scenes that has been pulled in a lot of strings. Let's say two masculines are friends. Okay, they've been friends for decades. Maybe even went to the same school, grew up in the same neighborhood, something of that nature. Maybe cousins, something like that, or brothers, right? Let's say one of the brothers is interested in a feminine energy. Um, and initially, the other one may have supported them. But then someone approaches him and says, hey, I need you to make sure this feminine energy does not get into a relationship. I don't want these two getting together for whatever reason. There's some type of spirituality aspect to it where if this feminine energy gets into a relationship, then whoever this piper is, is going to lose a lot of finances. It's going to lose their stability, right? Because now, in a sense, this feminine energy will have protection, right? It's easier for this devilish energy to attack this feminine energy if they don't have any protection, meaning they're alone, uh, in the flesh, of course, though not not in the physical. They're alone in the flesh, flesh. So people assume that it's easier to attack them, destroy the forward movement, cause blockages and things like that, because there's no one there to look out for that feminine energy, right? So then, instead of this King of Cups doing the right thing, staying in the upright, maybe even bringing this to the attention of his friend, he instead 
accepts money bribery from behind the scenes to start bullying this feminine energy start talking down about this feminine energy all kinds of stuff right um only for the universe your ancestors to step in and say you know what enough is enough we're going to take care of this so this is something like this is going on for some of you behind the scenes someone is interested in you this could be a wealthy man someone of high honor that's interested in you and sees you as someone very genuine and wants to have a connection with you. It could be someone from your past or this would just be someone, maybe like a past life soulmate or something of that nature, a past life contract, past life soulmate, something of that nature, right? But they think very highly of you. They may have uh, intense and strong emotions for you that are genuine because this friend of theirs or brother of theirs whatever this is has accepted bribery behind the scenes they have to make sure you two don't come together but it looks like the two of you will still be coming together i'm telling you the universe has decided two people are coming together regardless of what people are have been doing behind the scenes disregard my nails didn't have time to do my nails before this video but we're not here for the nails we're here for the read regardless of what people have been doing behind the scenes these two people are still coming together if you are meant to receive some type of abundance collective you're still going to be receiving their abundance whatever type of ending someone or people were trying to cause you is not happening okay it's not happening the universe has called judgment that you are going to have a fresh start new opportunities are ahead of you things of that nature so your enemies whoever has been working against you behind the scenes they're gonna have to figure out how they're gonna fulfill their end of the bargain with the piper okay and that's not your business to worry about they need to worry about that your enemies have a lot of problems coming in a lot of troubles coming in they definitely have some type of endings you may have people now that are going to be running away from their responsibilities as far as having to pay the piper back the devil back um because if you accept something from the devil obviously there's always a payback every time the, every time you put your hand out to the devil what does the devil do the devil puts his or her hand out to you like there's nothing free from the devil there's always something that's expected in return right unlike the most high the most high is not expecting anything in return but for you to show gratitude show love appreciation right putting work into yourself making sure you're healing and ascending that's all the most high expects from us not the devil the devil wants you when you ask for something you give something back it says shoot if i had something to give you i wouldn't be asking you for something but you know what what the devil gives you is never what the devil is asking back for you may ask for a million dollars and the devil says, yeah you want a million dollars cool i want your behind i want your ass been over or you ask the devil for a million dollars say yeah you want a million dollars yeah i need your i'm gonna need your little cousin there's always something and people don't think that way when these devious characters or energies approach them and make an offer to them they never think hey what's going to happen down the line if this doesn't work out what's going to happen if i cannot destroy this contract if i cannot prevent these two people from coming together what's going to happen if i can't pay the devil back their money like you, people never think they just think in the now they don't think about the future like how is this going to play out what if this does not work what if this does not go in my favor? You always need to think about that what if when you're dealing with a slimy character. Anytime someone can approach you to give you a bribe to interfere with someone else's life. Anytime someone can tell you that you should join them to bully someone else, to interfere with someone's movement, you should always think what if, right? What if something does not go right? Because you got to think about it. If someone is going through all of that trouble to block a specific, energy there is something about that energy that you need to be mindful of before tempering with them so let's say a star c if someone approaches you to get in a collaboration with them to bully that star c you need to think hey why does this person want me bullying this for this uh, star c what's gonna happen if i bully this star c it may be all fun and games at first things won't stay that way forever Okay, and the universe will let you bully that star seed for a specific amount of time. It's not that they don't see what you're doing. They're just giving you time to sink yourself, 
so that you can make sure they, they want to make sure you dig a far enough hole for yourself so that when you fall in that hole there's no way out of that hole okay so when you're bullying people always knows there's repercussions and this is what your enemies are going through behind the scenes there's always repercussions for coming after someone that's healed someone that's a blessing someone innocent okay but people don't think that way. They just think, oh, we have numbers, we have money, we have connections, we can do what we want. No, that's not how it works. That is not how it works, okay? That is not how it works. Someone has been guided to walk away. Hopefully, they do walk away and find healing in life, okay? Hopefully, they do walk away and find healing in life. If they don't, have mercy, I'm telling you. Yep. We have the Empress out here. You may not know that something is going on behind the scenes, but it absolutely is. And the universe is keeping something from you. They don't want you to see what's coming towards you. Because a lot of the times when we're doing these readings, right? Collective, you're not the only one watching. I think I said this before in a video. The karmics are watching more terror videos than we, the collective. We, the starseeds. We, the light workers. The dark energies, they watch more terror than we do they are more involved in divination than we are right because they don't have that foresight like the rest of us do they have to watch these videos consistently someone abuses divination so they have to do whatever they, they feel that they need to do to stay in the know but most of the time they still don't know what's going to happen they can watch a hundred terror videos a day and they still won't know what the most high is going to be doing even when they come in to know about something the most high can change his his or her plans just like that is that oh this person is going to come into this abundance on tuesday and the most high said now nah, we're going to do it tonight because we know on tuesday you're going to try to interfere with it something like that right so even though we have the gift to do the terror to do the definition we don't watch as much divination and terror videos as the karmics do because they don't have that foresight. Um, when they do have that foresight, a lot of the times things are blocked from them because source knows that they're going to abuse it. Okay? So, you may not know that there's some type of celebration coming up for you. Someone behind the scenes is going through some type of ending as well. Right? You, you may, yeah, you may not know what's going on behind the scene, but there's something going on. Something is being fixed for you. There's some type of collaboration that's going on, but just rest assured, wherever these people are planning, if it's something negative, it's not going in their favor. It's already set in stone for you to have victory over your enemies, okay? There's a woman in here. It could be someone's wife. It could be someone's uh, 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 baby mama, ex-wife, whatever this is. Uh, she's about to be going through some type of dark night of the souls, right? She may have offered a group something to do to do something to you. It's like they're paying people behind the scenes to interfere with someone's forward movement. If there's a divorce case going on, there's a masculine that watches me. You may be going through some type of divorce right now or you're about to be going through some type of divorce. Just know that the woman that you are trying to divorce from, she is absolutely paying people to make things go in her favor, okay? So she may want to keep you trapped with her and because you, you're trying to leave her. And if, does, if it does not go in her favor, you're not trapped with her. She's bribing people behind the scenes to make sure that divorce case goes in her favor where everything will be taken from you. So you need to look deep into everything. Reanalyze all of these documents. Make sure your lawyers are reading everything and looking into her. There's something about finances this woman has been doing. Either traveling, finances, something of that nature. She's been doing something devious behind the scenes and you need to look into her, look into the paperwork. You will find something in there. Like you all need to ask this woman a lot of questions. A lot of questions. If you have the ability to sit down with she and her lawyer and your lawyer and ask questions, you all need to ask her a thousand questions if you need to. But there is something this woman is hiding that is going to help you win this divorce. Okay, there's some type of document that's going to expose her. Okay, there's also some type of either text message, email that has to do with her communicating with someone. 
that's involved in this case behind the scenes to make sure things go in her favor. This could be the judge. This could be even your lawyer. Make sure you are looking into everybody. Trust no one right now in this in this case. If this is a court case, this is a divorce case, whatever it is, trust nobody. Look into everyone. There's something you are not seeing. This woman is partnering up with the people involved in this case. Okay? So I don't know who you are. Maybe I'm a maybe I'm aware of you or I worked with you before. I don't know you, but you are going through some type of divorce. And your partner that you are leaving is doing something malicious behind the scenes to make sure that things go in her favor. I'm telling you, she's doing something behind the scenes to make sure things go in her favor. Okay? What does the Seven of Swords say in the upright? Is that away from norms, betrayal, deception, ulterior motives, theft, scheme, isolated, calculating, outcast, disregard, faith. You absolutely need to look into this woman. There's something going on. For some of you, this may not have to do with a divorce. This could have to do with some type of contract you're into, some type of work agreement. There's something going on behind the scenes. People are celebrating. They are collaborating behind the scenes to cause you some type of ending. And you need to be aware of this. Okay? So this doesn't just have to do with a divorce. This has to do with contracts, agreements, uh, uh, work partnerships. You work for companies that are doing things behind the scenes, collaborating together to cause you some type of ending to steal something from you. So be in the awareness of that. Pay attention to that. I'm telling you, they're trying to block your forward movement, block balance from being brought into this situation. If this has to do with an inheritance, they're trying to block you from receiving it, but you absolutely will. The fact that we have your ancestors out here, the angels are out here. Meaning the universe has its hands all over in this matter, okay? That means that things are going to go in your favor. They want you to be in the know that, that there is trickery going on behind the scenes by a feminine energy against some of you. Uh, for some of you, this is someone just going up against their ex-partner or the partner that's separating from them. And for some of you, this is a feminine, feminine energy that just cannot stand you. They're trying to steal something from you. They've been pretending to be you for a long time and they can't pretend anymore. Or this is a feminine energy for some of you that's trying to steal some type of inheritance or abundance or opportunity from you because they think they are more worthy of that opportunity than you are okay you are supposed to be someone of high honor high privilege right and someone has been interfering with your life now the universe is interfering on your behalf okay so there's a whole lot going on here but there's absolutely some type of divorce going on where the feminine energy may be paying people behind the scenes to interfere with the masculine being able to leave a relationship this woman may just feel like oh Maybe she thinks you're going to someone and she's looking at the person that you're going to and she's saying, or she thinks you're going to, and she's saying that she don't have nothing. I mean, that's a downgrade. Why would you go to someone like that? But it's like that has nothing to do with her, who you're going through. The relationship is over. Someone just has control issues and you may not have been aware of it, or maybe you were just okay with dealing with it for years. But this woman, you best believe she's celebrating with your enemies behind the scenes people in the court case causing a lot of illusions and stuff in this case making sure it does not go in your favor for some of you where this has to do with a business contract something of that nature an inheritance an abundance financial payout there is absolutely some type of trickery going on behind the scenes people trying to make sure you don't come out in the uh upright you don't win this case but you have the power in this case to win it right you have the upper hand and the universe is going to expose to you how it is that you have the upper hand in this situation something is going to be exposed to you you may receive some type of information from someone about some type of trickery someone did and this is going to help you bring balance into the situation but right now you need to rely on the universe to move on your behalf do not take any type of drastic actions right remove yourself if you're around someone karmic or a group of people, remove yourself. Do not martyr yourself, basically, is what they are trying to tell you. Do not martyr yourself by taking some type of drastic action, rash action, to make sure things go in your favor because you don't see everything yet. The moon is out here for a reason. That means there's something, there's something you don't see, okay? Right. 
you may need some type of fresh perspective on the situation before you are guided to take some type of uh, action okay you want to make sure you don't end up ensuring your own ending by being desperate and things like that so just stay calm stay calm for you the masculine that's going through that divorce you need to start looking into things reading documents stop relying on your counsel to read everything for you let them read it and you read it as well if they have a document tell them to make a copy for you if you have to stay up for three four five six hours a night making sure you read that document you need to do just that because there's someone that's out for your neck they're trying to empty you of everything when i say everything everything there's a woman that wants to see you basically out in the street poor homeless begging right impoverished because of the simple fact that you've made the decision to move on with your life, right? You want to have a genuine connection with someone. You and this woman, I don't know if the relationship that you two are in was ever loving. I'm sure it was the fact that you decided to marry her or it could have just been for money. But whatever the situation was from the beginning, is that's not what it is now. You are miserable in this relationship and honestly, she's miserable as well. But there's an ego thing going on where she just does not want you to leave her for someone else. She just does not want to let go of you. <coughs> Excuse me. She she just feels like it's, it's a slap in the face if you leave her to go end up with someone else. She said, why can't we just stay together? She does not care if you two are happy together or not, right? Someone wants to be binded to you for life, okay? But you walking away is your justice, basically, okay? Yeah, you walking away is your justice. You having a fresh start is a heartbreak for people. People are basically heartbroken with the fact that you are going to be having some type of new beginning. Okay, you're going to be having some type of new beginning collective. This is what people have been trying to block. You say, no, you can't leave me. I know I'm toxic. I know I don't show you appreciation. I know you don't love me and I don't love you either, but I don't want you to leave because I don't want you to go, go and be with that dark skinned girl. I don't want you to go and be with that spiritualist. I don't want you to go and, you know, be happy. I want you to stay with me and be miserable. There's something in here like that that's going on. There is something. Someone has some type of superiority complex and it's just really disgusting. But someone, whoever she is, I don't think she realizes how disgusting she sounds and acts. Even if it does not have to do with complexion, there's some type of way that a woman thinks and it's really disgusting to the people around her and she doesn't realize it. She, I think th this has to do with some type of superficial mindset where she thinks she's better than everybody else. But it's like there's something where she's not seeing where people are kind of turned off by her. They don't care what she has, what she doesn't have. Something like that, okay? Empress energies, you may not know as well that there's some type of abundance around the corner for you. I think I mentioned that earlier. You're about to be making new friends and things like that, new connections. Just be mindful. If you receive some type of assistance or whatnot, don't share it with anyone. Don't tell anyone. Just show appreciation for it to the person or whoever is giving it to you and to the most high and keep it pushing. Okay. Be mindful. I'm being told to I'm being told to tell you all be mindful also of who's helping you. There could be some type of ulterior motives. Uh about why they're trying to help you is to get you bonded into some type of situation and that's the last thing you want happening to you okay there's something where a group of people also have been watching another energy and the fact that you know that they're watching you they may be trying to find some type of sneaky and sophisticated way now to watch you where you're not in the know about it but what i'm hearing is you're still going to be made known about it by your ancestors like they're still going to expose it to you and be like hey yeah they're still up to this this is how they're watching you okay so they're still going to be exposed absolutely exposed there's a lot of scenarios going in here i see a queen of wands that's been stealing something or tried to steal something and was immediately blocked it said nah you can't touch that that's not yours nah you can't have that you may have someone that wants to pick a fight with you 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 you, you agitate the the demon within someone Someone absolutely refuses to heal and they think 
the best way to go about the situation is to take some type of drastic action and come in and pick a fight with you. They want to cause you some type of heartbreak. Like you're not, you're not up to my level, right? I'm better than you. I have more money than you. And the whole time you're going to be looking at them like, oh, you're one of those, you're one of those airheads. Life just hasn't clicked together for you yet, has it? Poor thing, bless your heart. Like that's your reaction to them. Is that someone is so angry? Someone is angry. Meanwhile, you're just chill. You're relaxed, going on about your life, and you don't even know there's someone out there that you just, you take them off. You don't even have to do anything. Someone just has animosity for you, and that's because there's someone that's on heel. That's all it is. You didn't do anything to this person. As a matter of fact, someone feels that you're better than them. They see you as someone that's better than them, and that bothers them. They don't want to accept that fact that they themselves have has decided that you are better than them. That's why they have a problem with you. It's not because you say, oh, I'm better than you. I know more than you or, you know, I'm more prettier than you, whatever it is. It's just because someone has decided, oh, yeah, I'm nothing compared to her. She's prettier than me. She's educated. You know, she has all these gifts and things like that. The Most High loves her. She has a direct connection to Source. Something of that nature, right? Um, and they're telling themselves that repeatedly. So every time they see you, it pisses them off. Every time they hear you, every time they hear about you, they hear your voice, something, it pisses them off. It automatically uh, uh, tempers that demon that's in them, that large demon that's just sitting in them. It is messing with them. Then, uh, every time they hear about you or see you, it's like, uh, there's like a vibration going on and they don't even know what to do to shut it down. Telling you there's a demon in someone. <laughs> there's a demon in someone. There's a demon in someone and you bother that demon. Your life bothers that demon. Look, the death card wants to come out. You, your, your, your life bothers that demon. It's a, it vibrates every time your essence is brought into the awareness of this person. Even if they don't see you, they just hear about you. That demon is awakening. It's it. <laughs> that is sad. So sad. <laughs> so sad. <laughs> but just know people have been planning to do you something collective, but it's not coming into fruition. Your ancestors, your angels want you to know that you are safe and secure, right? Wherever you are on this planet, in this universe, wherever you are, you are safe, right? You have nothing to fear, right? You are innocent. People are seeing that. People may be separating themselves from this group, this karmic, whoever this is. Could be a couple. Yeah, absolutely. People are separating themselves. They're walking away. They want to find fulfillment in life. They're like, girl... Sir, this is redundant. We're tired. We want to move on. We want to do better things with our lives. We want to heal. Believe it or not, there are people in these karmic groups now that are actually wanting to heal, want to do the work. They're finding out that, hey, it's not so easy being this person. We thought it was just easy being them. They look happy all the time. You know, they have their, their SHIT together. They're not out here, you know, BSing around, picking fights with people. We thought this was easier than it looked. But they're finding out healing is not so easy. It's a commitment. Okay, it's a commitment. Um, I've told a little bit of my story on this channel about how hard it was for me when I started my healing journey. And I'm not even completely up the way there yet. I still have a whole lot of work to do. But I'm a far way away from where I was when I started. I'm telling you, and I'm grateful for that. And actually, confession today, something triggered me. And I didn't. And to be honest, I don't even know what it was that triggered me. It's like I came into contact with something or someone. And immediately, I got triggered because there's, I don't know what it was honestly and I've been trying to figure out what that thing is so I can address it so that if I come into contact with that thing or person again I'm not being triggered right so I don't know what it is it's been a weird day for me it, it, it's, it's annoying but funny at the same time that like, why are you triggered you don't even know why you're <laughs> you don't even know why you're triggered right um and I haven't been triggered in a long time so it was just that what in the world is going on it threw me off um, because I've been dealing with all of my demons for so long, the past couple of years, just to make sure that I'm doing what I need to do to heal, so I'm not passing on, on, on passing on, you know, curses to the next generations and things like that. But something triggered me today, and I just cannot figure out what it is. But I'm doing my best to figure it out so I can address it right properly. 
I'm telling you, I had something today, some type of something that happened, and I don't know what it is. Honest to God, I don't know what it is. I just found myself sitting there and I got agitated, and I'm like, why am I agitated? Like, I don't get agitated like that. What is going on? And I don't know what it was. Maybe there's someone working behind the scenes that you will be agitated. <laughs> Maybe it worked for a split second and my soul snapped out of it. Like, girl, we don't care about that stuff. Move on. Get on. Okay? So let's get back to this read. Um, people are heartbroken because a decision has been made to bring balance in your life. Someone has chosen you. Uh, if there's a court system, a court case going on, things will be going in your favor. Uh, a decision has been made to bring balance into a situation. Um, if there's a community that has been working with a karmic, they're choosing to do the right thing now, bring balance into their lives. I mean, you can do nothing but applaud people when they choose to heal and do the right thing, kind of bring balance. Yeah, bring balance into their life. Literally, that's what I said. And then I look down and the wheel of fortune is out here. People are choosing to bring balance back into their lives and leave this toxicity behind them. But get, you best believe there's a Jizzy Bell out there. There's some type of karmic out there that's still stern, still determined to destroy another energy, but they're not going to succeed because the people they were working with are walking away. They're like, girl, give it up. Like chill give it up you're not going to be able to destroy this person we've tried we've tried we've tried and it's nothing has worked so just give it up but someone is stubborn someone is stubborn someone thinks that if they wait long enough they're going to be able to trigger you they'll be able to bring something to you something to your attention they'll be able to bring you some type of fight that's going to trigger you get a reaction out of you something of that nature but it's not going to work like you're kind of done with all this mess Okay, someone is heartbroken that you're not going to be living in poverty. You're not going to be someone in destitution. Dest you're not someone of destitute. I don't know how to put that. Someone wants you living in some type of destitute reality, but that's not what's going to happen. Like they want you trapped, but this is you. You're abundant naturally. You're blessed. You flourish naturally. But someone wants you in this energy where you're trapped. No way to go, no one to assist you, just alone, abandoned, rejected, something of that nature. That's what they want for you. But the universe is saying absolutely not. This is our child. They have put in the work to do what they need to do to ascend. They are healing other people in whatever way you are healing people. So the universe is absolutely making it clear to someone that this is not you. This is you. They put you in this energy because of the work you've done and the work you're doing. So no way are they going to leave you or have you in this energy, okay? And even if you were in this energy, it was temporary. It was a lesson. There was something you were supposed to learn in this energy so that you could return to this, okay? But someone is burdened by that reality. They said, what? We can't block her forward movement, his forward movement. We can't stop them from elevating and ascending. They said, no, 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 no. You miscalculated. You had the wrong idea, okay? Everything you were doing this whole time was for the benefit of this person it was meant for them to ascend for them to elevate for them to grow to learn okay so someone is having a hard time with their reality it said the universe stepped in and was like um i'm telling you someone wants to pick a fight with you but they cannot you're someone that stands your ground you're like nah i don't think so i don't care who you are someone's mama wife I didn't pick a fight with you. I don't want you. I don't pay attention to you. I don't know who you are. You seem to know who I am. You stay over there, okay? You're showing up, Empress Collective, as someone that's highly intelligent, very committed, very loyal. This is what people are seeing about you. And someone is heartbroken because people see that about you. It's like the universe is going out of its way to make sure people understand that, hey, this is someone. This is who she is. This is who he is. He's an empress she's an empress he's naturally abundant she's naturally abundant she's the truth she is educated she is very smart intelligent very loyal whatever these people have been saying that's not true right someone is very triggered at the fact that you are educated you're smart because someone wanted people to believe that you were illiterate you weren't that smart you were dumb you were naive you didn't have to be illiterate but that you just didn't know anything but they are finding out that people see you that see you as someone that's intelligent. I wouldn't be surprised if you show up out here as the queen of swords, right? You're highly intellectual, very much intellectual. And there's nothing this person can do about it. 
they can't hide it anymore. Someone has been criticizing someone a lot behind the scenes, and now they're disappointed that they can't do that anymore. It's that people see the truth for what it is. They said, oh, you told us this person was dumb. You told us she was stupid. You told us he was stupid. You told us he didn't know what he was talking about. And this person is educated and know exactly what they're talking about. You told us someone was naive. Apparently, they're not. What, what is going on here, Karen? What had happened? I'm telling you, the truth has been exposed about you. People see the truth. They say, oh, this is someone genuine. They're a little bit weird. Some of you are weird. Collective, don't come for me. Y'all know, us Starseeds, we are weird compared to like these normal average people. The things we know, the things we say, how we carry ourselves, we stick out like a sore thumb wherever we are. We are a bit on the eccentric side, and that's absolutely beautiful. I'm not saying we're weird as in it's a bad thing. That's a compliment. When someone tells you you're weird, that's a compliment. They're basically telling you you're in control of your own path. You're in control of your own destiny. You're taking hold of your own life, right, of your own destiny. They're basically calling you like a magician. You control your destiny, basically, right? So that's a compliment. You shouldn't feel bad about that. Whatever secret someone was keeping is exposed. It's what I'm being told as well. It's absolutely exposed. Someone was keeping a secret. I told you this community, they're walking away. They're like, we want no part of this anymore. We've celebrated too early too many times. We have celebrated too early too many times. We are done. There's a masculine that may be leaving a community. He sees it for what it is. He said, oh, so this is what you all have been up to? Or you know what? I don't want to be part of this anymore. I see things for what they are. I absolutely effed up and partnered up with the wrong people, wrong person. I'm leaving. I'm walking away. If this is a divorce as this, that this woman is trying to complicate for a masculine, he's still going to be leaving, ma'am. So you can pull all the tricks you want, sleep with whoever you want. There's a woman that's sleeping with someone in the court system to make sure something goes in her favor. And guess what? It still won't. She's still going to lose miserably. This masculine is still going to walk away. Someone wants to find fulfillment in life. Like he wants to be emotionally healed, mentally healed. Someone may be watching you collective in some way and they know that you're the one that can heal them, help them become the best version of themselves. And this woman, this white figure, she knows that she can't do that. He knows that she can't do that. They've been together for many years and she's always been there tearing him down or helping keep him in some type of toxic mindset. And he come across you and you're genuine as can be, right? Uh, you're fulfilling. This person didn't even have a relationship with you as far as intimacy. You probably just conversated with this person for some of you. You probably just extended some type of friendship. And, you know, it awakened this person. They may be watching you if you have a social media platform. They could be keeping track of you in some way, not in a malicious way, but just getting updates on you in some type of way. If you're friends with one of their friends or something, like they're asking them, hey, how is she doing? How is he doing? And they're getting updates on you while they're going through this tumultuous time with this wife character that's trying to end them. There are people going through a lot of different situations. Some of you have healed someone. There's a masculine also who he started off as your enemy, but now he's seeing things from your perspective. Like the universe has stepped in and said, hey, you need, this is what's going on. Like someone is looking into certain things that you say, certain things you do, and they're like, oh, wow. Like, I didn't know that. So someone is going through an awakening. So for some of you, if you will have partnered up with this person in the past when they were not healed or not going through an awakening, it would have been a nightmare for the both of you because you would have been on a whole different vibration while this person is like down here and you're trying to talk to them from up here and they would have just been looking at you like, oh, this dumb dumb. Why the heck did I choose to be with this person? They don't know nothing, right? They're talking about uh, spirit realms and, you know, a, a silver chain connecting us to our souls, gold chain connecting us to source. Like, this person is so dumb. But someone is going through some type of awakening that was, like, forced upon them by the universe, right? And when or if you end up getting back in connection with this person you're going to notice the drastic difference and they're going to show some type of appreciation for you because you help this person go through some type of healing okay you absolutely help them go through some type of healing and you may not even know that you did that for this person i'm telling you yeah absolutely 
Mm. You have someone going through a lot of healing. They're taking charge of their life, right? Yeah, they're, they're sailing under karma waters. They're healing. There's a lot of healing energy going on. They're sailing under karma waters to heal. This could be a king of wands that's going through all of this change. He may want to offer you something. And this is what people have been trying to block. But they can't block it because this is some something divinely orchestrated by the Most High. You are meant to receive this opportunity. This, yeah, didn't I say that she was trying to steal something? I said that. This woman was trying to steal your, your ace of pentacles. She wanted it for herself. Like she thought she was going to steal something and sneak away. I said, no, your ancestors said, I think not, dear. You're going to have to sit down. We don't have time for this nonsense. We've tolerated you long enough. This is your angels and ancestors talking to this woman. They said, I think not. Just sit down. Sit down. Sit, yeah, sit down. Like someone is going through a rule awakening. She's going down. I'm going down. <laughs> it's the end. It's the end. Someone will not be receiving what's yours. It's coming absolutely to you. You're about to be someone of high honor. Someone is absolutely pissed off about this, but you don't care. People are throwing tantrums behind the scenes, throwing fits, fighting. It's like they're fighting for something you'll never have. I don't know if someone made a false promise or something like that. But people are fighting behind the scenes for something they will never have because it's not theirs. It was never meant to be theirs, right? Your victory is ensured. Your victory is ensured. Okay? Someone may want to invest in you, invest in your business so that it can take off, it can explore, maybe go viral if you're a content creator. If you sell products, your, your product is going to be well-known, world-known, worldwide. Lord, I don't know how to put that. It's going to be known worldwide. There we go. Okay? So someone may want to invest into your business, into your uh, 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 endeavors and things like that because they know you're someone that's business savvy, you're multifaceted and things like that. Right? Um, they may have been like juggling in the past and things like that. They may want to send you a message to propose something to you as well. It's a lot going on. But just know someone wants to communicate with you because they want to work with you. Say, hey, I've been watching you for this long. Or I've been, I, I purchased one of your products, right? And I really liked it. Or I've used your product for this long and I really like it. I would like to work with you. Something of that nature, right? And it's going to be up to you to decide if you want to. I always say don't rush to accept anything. Make sure you look into who's giving you an offer. So you don't end up in some type of horrible state, some type of regret. Okay? Okay. Mm. Yeah. Uh-oh. This was in the reverse. Okay? This was in the reverse. Uh-oh, let me put this here. It's, it always throws me off when cars come out in the reverse. It says, hold on, what does this mean? This, what does this mean? There's something here where, pe where people may not have clarity about. It has to do with either your forward movement or some type of collaboration or institution. There's something about an institution that's heartbroken because they're not receiving something they thought they were going to receive. That's what it is. Okay, you're moving forward regardless of you know whatever betrayal you went through. You were you 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 went through a lot because of people, not because you did something wrong, but because people were going up against you. Okay, they didn't want you receiving some type of new opportunity, some type of offer. They've been trying really hard to block some type of offer, some type of elevation for you. Okay, a promotion, something like that. Like, I don't think some of you are aware how hard people have been working to block this offer, block this, whatever this is. Like, they don't want you having some type of victory. They don't want you having charge of your life. They're like, we want her homeless. We want her broke. We want her sick. They may even want some of you out of here. Like, that's what they want. Someone may be sending you heart spells. Like, they want your heart to just shut down. Like, just shut down. They want to off your light. 
just a lot of negative energy being sent to someone like one person a whole group of people just sending a lot of ill intent towards one person but somehow you're still waking up and moving about and people in this community are seeing that or like what they're like wait you mean to tell me we all got together to destroy this one person and it's like no matter what we do they're still getting up and moving forward and we still think that we're going to win. It's been umpteenth years now, umpteenth weeks, months, and we're still coming after this person. Is that what you're telling me? Someone said, I think I'm on the wrong team. Someone said they're on the wrong team. She she said, uh-uh, mm -mm, I can't be doing this no more. I'm out. There's a masculine that's leaving. People are leaving. These toxic groups, they're leaving. They're like, this is not fulfilling anymore. When they first started, it was all laughs. It was all jokes. It's not funny anymore. It's not, it's not funny anymore. They've blocked their own forward movement. Opportunities they were supposed to receive, they've blocked it as well. They've blocked a lot for themselves trying to block you. Okay? Someone's out here trying to manipulate words. I'm telling you. They're trying to manipulate words. They're, they're trying really hard to block something from coming to you. And your ancestors are saying, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Let them do what they want to do. Someone is causing a lot of illusions. But, oh, it could be a queen of pentacles. Causing a lot of illusions about someone. And they're telling you, don't worry about it. She's just sinking herself even deeper. Someone has a lot of anger, animosity, jealousy. Someone is unstable. She's unhinged. And she doesn't realize every step that she takes to cause an illusion. She's just sinking herself deeper and deeper. She's digging herself deeper and deeper into a hole that she won't be able to get out of. Okay? Like you, people already know the truth about you. So she may not want you to receive an opportunity. They may not want you to receive an opportunity. You could have someone that's playing with you, bluffing. Yeah, someone is bluffing. They're bluffing you about an opportunity. The, 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 the King of Cups is a bluff for me. I don't take this character serious. This is a bluff. Because the King of Cups are people who, they love you one moment, they're done. They love you, they're done. This is a bluff, a waste of time, okay? That's not a genuine friendship. It's not solid. Even when they're in the upright or in the reverse. The friendship or the love they're offering you is not solid. At all. At all. Okay? It, I'm telling you, it's not solid. It's not solid. It's not solid. I'm telling you. Not solid. Someone is waiting for the right time to come in and do you something. It could be this Queen of Cups. The one that was expecting to receive your opportunity. There's someone in here. She said, I'm more worthy of this position. And then this one is said, yeah, I deserve this opportunity. You could have a whole group of people or a group of women coming up against you trying to steal something from you. And they say, nah, your ancestors sisters are like, I think not. I think think not karmic one i think not karmic two i think not karmic three or any other karmics okay so just be careful there may be a feminine energy that wants to come in and give you some type of false friendship is that hey remember me is that uh yeah but i really don't care what do you want and they're gonna be like it's been a long time no see i'm like yeah that's on purpose <laughs> Right? This is when they start singing songs in their head. You're looking at them like, girl, okay. Obviously, you're cuckoo. They're talking about, can we talk for a minute? No, we don't have nothing to talk about. I obviously left you all behind for a reason. Okay? Okay. I'm not asking for no friendship from you because I know you're not genuine. You're a bluff. You're bluffing. You're bluffing. You're bluffing. Right? You're trying to wait for the right time to come and do me something off my lights, cause illusions and things like that. This is one of those situations where you befriend or uh, accept someone back in your life. You go out to eat with them. Something is in your drink and you don't know they put something in your drink. 
only for you to look at in your car and whoops, you're out of here. And then instead of them, you know, they, of course they're not going to say they're poisoning you. They're just going to say, oh, you know, I knew she was dealing with drug problems, you know. I knew she was dealing with this and she was dealing with that. Uh, she had a lot of substance issues, additions issues. Meanwhile, you've never been someone with any type of addition problems. Never. But they're going to cause illusions and say that you did something to yourself or you did something that led to your own ending. That's what. Your, your enemies are waiting. They're waiting for the right time to end you, but it's not going to happen. It's an illusion to them. They're trying to cause illusions about you. It's like your enemies know they've, they've lost, but they're still determined. It's that if we just wait a little longer, we'll be able to take them out. And sources say, I don't care how long you wait. That's part of the contract. It's all divinely orchestrated. Okay? You can wait as long as you want. You're still going to be martyring yourself. <laughs> You can wait as long as you want. You're still going to be out of here. You can cause all the illusions you want. Work over time trying to cause my star seal ending. And you're still going to be out of here. Right? You're still going to... Listen, I say out of here and the world car shows up. You're still going to be out of here or watching my star seed be my star seed. Okay? Do you know what? Let's see what the star says on here. It says hope, inspiration, mental health. Creativity, contentment, visionary, spiritual guidance, generous, kind-hearted, healing, renewal. Thank you. Honey, thank you. Okay? That's what you are, Starseeds, Collective, Light Workers, Light Beings. These people are going to be waiting forever. Let's see. Did you see how they jumped out of there? Did you see how the chariot just jumped out of there and said, Hey, I have something to say. I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. The universe has decided you are the choice. This offer is coming to you, collective, right? You're going to be presented with an opportunity that's going to help you move forward in life. And I, move forward is an understatement. Like, they're thrusting you forward. Say, hey, come on. We are tired of this mess with these people. Let's go, right? They're just thrusting you forward. They know you're ready. They know you're ready. Things are going in your favor. Okay, there may be some type of court case going on again. Someone is trying to cause an illusion in this court case. And this is different for a lot of you. People have legal issues coming in. Someone is going to be losing their business. Someone didn't take heed to the warning of their higher self. Someone fell from grace because they got too greedy. Someone is going to be losing their business. Okay, whoever this is. Okay, someone may have accepted some type of pay of... They're not, listen. <laughs> I said someone accepted a pay and the a page of pentacles pops out. Someone who have accepted some type of pay or made some type of payment in the legal system to make sure things don't go in your favor. Okay? They don't want you having some type of fresh start. Something like that. So they made some type of payment to cause illusions and things like that. It's not going to go in their favor. They're like, hey... We need this person down once and for all. We are sick and tired of this person. They've been making a fool out of us. Okay? It's 300 of us. It's a whole city of us. And this one person is defeating us. We need you to make sure this person is down. And source, your ancestors and your angels are just sitting back looking like, wow, this person is very animated. Very, very animated. Look at that. Look, 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 look at him. Look at her. So animated. Just sitting back and watching them take action. Being impulsive. Being impulsive. Whatever your enemies don't want you to receive, you're going to be receiving it. Like, they're going to be there to watch you receive it. They're literally going to be there to watch you receive it. Someone is walking away from a collaboration, right? 
besides that community, there's someone, a masculine, walking away from a collaboration. You say, I just, I can't do this anymore. I effed up. This person is actually genuine. I actually like this person. I don't want to do this anymore. So you all can do what you want to do, but I won't be part of it anymore. They say, no, come back. We really need you for this to work. And they say, oh, yeah. Sayonara. Adios. Right? Au revoir. Salud. Right? It's like, I'm out. Because someone knows you're committed to your work. You're loyal. You're trustworthy. Right? So it's pointless trying to cause you an ending. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's pointless trying to cause you an ending. They know you're genuine. You you don't have anything to hide. You don't have any uh, motives, ulterior motives, or what, why you do the things you do. And it's some it's kind of embarrassing for some of these people too because they know that you know what they've been doing behind the scenes and you're just not saying anything. You're just letting them carry on and say, keep doing what you want to do. But I promise you it's not going to end in your favor. Right? So someone's trying to change things up in their life. It's like, I've lost enough. I've lost enough. Dang. Someone said, I've lost enough. It says, more painful, deep wounds, incurable, gratitude, acceptance, forgiveness, actively deal with, recover. Yeah, honey. <laughs> it's time for everyone in here to accept the situation for what it is. It's done. People have lost a lot. Someone may have lost a job. Someone lost a lot of income and they're just accepting the situation for what it is. There was a woman that's, that was invested in ending another woman, but now she knows she invested in the wrong thing. So she has to cut her loss and move on. This is spirit bringing balance into every situation. Spirit said, we warn you all not to do this. You have people around you that we whisper in their ear to tell you, hey, don't do this. And they told you, don't do it. You still didn't listen. You thought you were going to destroy someone. Okay? You thought you were going to destroy someone that did nothing to you. You're trying to destroy someone's work. How, 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 can you, how can you be of high character? How can you even have two cents to sit down and watch someone commit themselves to their work? Work hard to manifest something just for you to want to destroy it simply out of jealousy. Because you know what they're doing, you cannot do. You can't do what they're doing because that's not your calling. Okay? So you sat back and you watch someone manifest what it is they wanted. They put in all of the work. Because I guarantee you to get to this eight of pentacles is not easy. This is a lot of work to, ma to become a master of your craft your skills is not easy. You know how we have doctors? Imagine all the years it takes doctors to finish school. That's their commitment. Most of us average people, we don't even want to be in school for the four years that we need to be in school for a bachelor's. Imagine being in school for eight years, 10 years. That's a level of commitment a lot of people don't have. And people will see you commit yourself that well, that hard, only for them to come to turn around and want to destroy it. It said, you sat down and you watched me do all this work. I didn't steal from you. I didn't take from you. I focused on my past. And now you want to take from me? Oh, I did not. Ancestors, I need you on. And they're like, oh, we, we know we've been here the whole time. We've just been waiting for them to bust a move. So your, your enemies, they're going through endings. The piper is here to collect. No one has anything to give back to the piper. And the piper said, I don't know what to tell you. You either gonna go, you either need to bend down or you need to spit my money out. Or I'm gonna need your cousin Keisha. I don't know what to tell you, but it is what it is. I told you what I would need from you in return if you couldn't fulfill your end of the bargain. You martyr yourself. You martyr yourself. Okay? Someone's sad. They put in all this work to end two people. 
and they're not able to end these two people. I'm telling you, they're not able to end these two people. They can't come in and gaslight you. They're not coming in to fool around with you. You don't want nothing to do with these people whatsoever, right? Mm. Yeah. I said they can't come in to fool with you. What does they say? Adversity, depletion, discouraged, losing energy, losing inner fire, overreacting, conservative. I'm telling you. They thought they were coming in to gaslight you, play with you. They can't. They said, oh my gosh. How is one person wearing us out like this? We've destroyed many other lives and futures before. What is it about this person? And sources said, oh yeah, this is a divine union. This is a divine contract. <laughs> so you've been wasting your time. You're going to keep wasting your time. I'm telling you, this is divine. You're wasting your time. Divine. I don't know how else to say it. Divine intervention, interference, whatever we want to call it. But you've been wasting your time, depleting your energy. This is the universe sitting back and saying, we're going to let you wear yourself out. This person don't need to do a goddamn thing. We're going to sit back, sit back and let you wear yourself thin. Exhaust yourself trying to destroy someone. You already know you cannot destroy. If it takes more than one of you to come after someone that should let you know, you're not going to be destroying that person. But since you all want to be Twitter D's and Twitter Dumbs and Twitter D D Dumbs, we'll let you entertain us. Okay? Have at it. So they all started taking turns, taking a whack at it. And lo and behold, collectives, you're still here. You are still here. Mm, yeah, they're not accomplishing their goals. I'm telling you. <laughs> oh my gosh. They they're not they are not accomplishing their goals. Someone is saying this is too much. Someone said it's too much. They're like, this is not what I signed up for. It's too much. I'm losing too much money. I'm losing too much sleep. I'm worn out. I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm exhausted. I thought this was going to be easy. You know why they thought it was going to be easy? Because some of you show up in these energies. Queen of Cups, Page of Cups energy, Star Seas energy. So when they see you, you look feeble. You know, a lot of the times we, the Queen of Cups, uh, Page of Cups, Star Seas, we're very smiley. We have a very bright energy about us, right? It's sunshine around us. So when people see us, they just assume they can just flick us away. It's like, oh, this person is nothing. They don't know nothing. They're dumb as heck. You know, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know nothing. We can play with them all day. And then they commit themselves to what? Something they cannot fulfill. Someone sees you. Someone sees the act of taking you down as a burden. They've been trying for a long time. All right? They've been trying for a long time to take you down. And they said it's too much. I can't do it anymore. They thought they were going to be successful in taking you down, but you're coming up, showing up as a burden for them. And it's this whole group. It's not just this business owner. It's this whole group. They see you as a burden. There are still people in here that are stubborn enough that want to move forward. But this business owner, whoever this is, he said, uh-uh, I'm done. I, I don't want to participate in this. I've lost enough peace of mind. I've lost enough finances. I've paid enough people to interfere with this person's new beginnings, blocking promotions and things like that, gaslighting this person. I even sent in a feminine energy to be her friend, and she saw right through that person. I don't want to be in this anymore. I'm done. You know, I'm done. You're a burden, collective. Thank goodness. Someone may still be trying, this group may still be trying to pressure this person to destroy you. And they're just like, uh-uh, nope, 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 I'm good. He's, yeah, he's standing his ground. That's why this emperor just flipped over. He's standing his ground and he's moving on. He said, nah, I'm good. You all can do what you want to do, but I'm out. 
that collaboration with him is over. He said, what is this mess? We keep trying to block someone, destroy them, and every day they're waking up and still moving forward. What is this mess? <laughs> I'm telling you. sugar a shot of milk thank you very much <laughs> they're just looking like what in the world is going on like why is she so happy why is he so happy and you're just bright eyed bushy tail taking charge of your life and moving forward it's like it's like i'm most definitely going to have my new beginning i don't care what you all have been doing behind the scenes you know, and I know that I'm going to have my victory because the Most High says so. It's not because I said so, but because the Most High says so, that I'm ensuring my victory. If I keep doing what they told me to do, which is to keep moving forward, stay in purity, act out of purity, be kind, be a blessing. I'm innocent and you all know it. And the Most High is just sitting back, your ancestors are sitting back and said, you know what, today... We feel like crashing a tower down. Brrr. You lose your business. Yeah, divine interference. Divine intervention. <laughs> you lose your house. Remember how you wanted our star seat to be homeless? Brrr. That mansion of yours is gone. Someone's divine masculine has fallen from grace. He's now toxic. Who knows how he's going to regain his crown? We're not going to focus on him. Yeah, he's trying. Oh, Lord have mercy. He is trying to remove himself from this collaboration. He doesn't want to cause any more illusions. Okay? He said, hey, Darcy. I have a confession to make to you. You know how you've been genuine to all of us? Well, behind the scenes, we've been trying to destroy you, okay? You were supposed to receive some type of message that was good news about your forward movement and opportunities and things like that, but we all interfered and blocked it. And now we're going through endings. We're losing our finances, our relationships. We can't get no sleep. People are getting in accidents and all kinds of stuff. People are getting sick. Here's what we were trying to take from you. You can have it. This is yours. And you're sitting back and say, oh, yeah, I knew. I knew what was going on. It was divinely orchestrated. We're not going to block. Yeah, it was divinely orchestrated. <laughs> Divine intervention. He's like, I knew what was going on. You all had a lesson to learn. Next time, don't let greed get the best of you. You don't ever get to a point in life where you get a thrill out of bullying someone. This is what a lot of them were doing, is bullying people from behind the scenes. This is because they had money, they had numbers, they could do whatever they want to do. Oh, that's a star, see, it's, it's easy to bully them. You can manipulate them really easily. And the whole time people don't realize, no, you can't. We just don't care to say anything to you. 99.999999% of the time we know what's going on, but we'll shut our mouths because we already know what's going to happen. You may not lose your finances today while you're doing what you're doing or tomorrow, but we guarantee you at some point you're going to lose it. And we are sitting back to wait for that day. It's not that we're eager for you to lose anything, but we already know karma is coming and we already know the Most High is going to give us a front row seat to see your ending. 
you trapped yourself, you bounded yourself to a contract you are unable to fulfill. Again, we are back at the beginning of this read. Bondage. This is what they wanted for you. And the Most High said no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. So you're taking charge of your life and moving forward. This masculine that's seeing you as a burden to take down. He said, nah, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to be toxic no more. I don't want to be part of this karmic group anymore. I'm moving on. Yeah, someone wants to heal and be genuine now. They want to have genuine connections. They're, they're, they are freeing themselves. The devil, the devil card in the reverse has to do with you letting go, removing yourself, letting go of toxic ways, toxic people, connections, places, and things. You're letting go. Walking away. What does this say? It's a removal of bondage. I'm telling you, release, severance, overcome evil, defeat, detachment from unhealthy forces, tendency to be tempted. Yeah, someone is wanting to free themselves. You see the temptation card out here? Right above it? Someone is letting go. They're releasing toxic ways. It's like, uh, yeah, this is not reaping any harvest. I want to go have a genuine connection with someone. I'm taking charge of my life now and moving forward. Yeah. They want to have a genuine connection with someone. I'm taking charge of my life now and moving forward. You all can keep doing what you want to do, but I'm done. Okay? Yeah, moving forward. Moving forward. I feel like I could end on this Six of Cups, but I want to see what the last card is going to be on here. Okay? It's absolutely imperative when you get to a certain age in life, there are certain things you should not participate in, okay? And this will be one of those, bullying people, stealing from people, blocking other people. There's always consequences for that. You, let, you, see, P, you see P. Diddy? P. Diddy has been traumatizing people for decades in the music industry, in the entertainment industry. Every time I saw P. Diddy with a young child, I said, gosh, another one. He's done it to another one. Why was this man allowed to traumatize and do this to people for so many decades? That's because they gave him power. It's the people he, were con he was connected to. Who is that C. Davis man he, he, he was connected to? More than likely, C. Davis did the same thing to P. Diddy. P. Diddy did the same thing to other people. What does it say? Hurt people, hurt people. So he passed the baton on to P. Diddy. Okay, what he did to him, he did it to P. He took it to, to other people in the music industry. Okay, and I don't understand how some of these parents, I'm still trying to understand Usher's mom situation. How you can let your 14 year old, is it 12 or 14 year old, go stay with a grown person? How? No guidance. Nothing. How do you feel comfortable doing something like that? And then Justin Bieber's mom, why would you let your son go stay with a, a, a P. Diddy? I don't care if it's, if it's just for a day. They all knew that man was a predator. Everybody knew he was a predator. But they had it set up in Hollywood where if you wanted to make it in that industry, you had to go through P. Diddy. You had to give something up to him. And if you didn't give something up to him, what? He blocked, blackballed your career. I'd rather be blackballed. There is no way you're getting something from me that I don't want to give you. I don't care how small it is. If I said no, it's no. And that's a big price to pay to be famous. Like you can see the sorrows, the depression in some of these celebrities' eyes. When they're talking, in their pictures, you see the change. Look at like people like Lindsay Lohan. Beautiful young lady, beautiful, bright future ahead of her. Britney Spears, wonderful artist, beautiful young lady. Look at how they started when they were all innocent. The world had not damaged them. And then they got to, to a certain point. What happened? They started doing drugs. They started, you know, cutting their hair. They didn't want people touching them. That's because of things that was going on behind the scenes. And then we, on the outside, looking in, not knowing exactly what's going on. Why is our favorite child star acting out? 
That's why they were acting out. And I knew that was going to come out eventually. I'm just, something's not adding up. When I was younger, I didn't understand it. But as I got older, I started looking into it. I said, oh, yeah, Hollywood's going to be falling at some point. This is Hollywood being undone. This is Hollywood being undone. I wouldn't be surprised if literally like 85 to 90% of the people we see are involved into this same thing. Because what? That's the culture that has been uh, permitted in that place. In Hollywood. That's the culture that has been permitted. If you want to be successful here, you know what you have to do. You got to give up a little some sum. You either need to sacrifice this person or bend it over. Women with women and men, men with men and women. Swiping each, like there's a price to pay for fame basically. And most of these people, unfortunately, they're not even rich. So they give it up, they sign on the dotted line and they don't have anything to show for it. There's a price to pay. Again, with the Piper, there's a price to pay. There's always a price to pay. Anytime someone approaches you to make a deal that's just too good to be true, if you know it's too good to be true, it's definitely too good to be true. We got to start thinking that way. Stop being led by money. Oh, they offered me $4 million off the bat. <laughs> you better read the fine print. You better read the fine print. Okay? I've seen a video with Rick Ross. He's giving a deal to a, a new artist. It's, it's on YouTube. And when I tell you Rick Ross looked disappointed because he knew what that boy was about to go through, bending it over. He was looking at, man, another one, another one of our young brothers about to be destroyed. Okay? And the stuff a lot of these artists have been through, these celebrities have been through, they can't even talk about it. It's too traumatizing. That's why sometimes you see them, you say hi, they don't want to talk to you. Who wants to talk to you? Who wants to say hi after they've just been, they've just gone through something like that? Like, no one wants to say hi to you. You wouldn't want to say hi to anyone. But you all come out here and you act so clueless. Oh, I, I met Brian Pitt and I said hi to him. He didn't say hi back. F you and your hi. Leave that man alone. You don't know what they're going through behind the scenes. Okay? Leave that man alone. He don't have to say hi to you just because he's your favorite art or, uh, actor. Go find yourself something better to do. This is what's going on. Your enemies, they made a deal with the Piper. They couldn't fulfill the, the deal. The Piper is here to collect and no one has the money to pay it back. The Piper is here to collect. That's all that matters to the Piper. Meanwhile, the Most High is here to bring balance into you us life collective. I swear sometimes when I see those celebrities, I feel sorry for them. I feel sorry for them. I'm like, God bless you. I hope you find peace. Because I know you guys are going through quite a lot behind the scenes. They're out here trying to make their lives look so uh, uh, appealing. You want to be like us? You want to be in Hollywood? Say, uh, no, I don't. I'm afraid to be part of Hollywood. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. No, thank you. They have to put that image out there. There's some. There's an image they're selling. This is why you have like people like Sexy Red. They can put trashy music out. It's not contributing nothing good to, to society. Nothing. They all know that girl's music is trash, 100%. It's trash. But why are they promoting it? Because it, 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 it keeps the youth mindset in a deplorable state. Right? It doesn't help them elevate or nothing. So they're going to keep promoting that trash to people. They're going to keep promoting it to people. Like, oh, Sexy Red's in the building. Sexy Red's new music video. So nobody want to watch that crap. Nobody wants to listen to that crap. It's disgusting. It's trashy. There's no talent. I'm not an artist and I could have came up with most of those lyrics. 
Ski, what's so talented about that? What is so talented about that? Nothing. Remember when you, when artists actually had to have talent? Remember back in the days? Think of like the Fugees, Lauren Hill, Queen Latifah, Left Eye, TLC, Destiny Child, all those people, Lupe Fiasco, Common, all these artists, they actually had to have talent. Now, talent is not required. It's not on the menu. It's popularity. We're going to force them on you until you decide that you like their song. You, you see how many times they play one song on the radio? That's, that's MK Ultra. We're going to keep playing it and playing it and playing it until you like it. And that has worked. They figured out a formula. It makes no sense you turn on the radio and you hear the same 10 songs every day for a whole month straight. And you're like, God dang it. Are there no more songs in the world to listen to? I'm tired of listening to Ski. You, there's no other music to listen to? You, you're a whole radio station. You only have 10 songs to play? You only have 10 songs to play. And you're just repeating it, repeating it. Come on. There's a glitch. There's a glitch in the system. These celebrities are su suffering behind the scenes, okay? When you see, see your favorite star child, uh, child star acting out, that's why. There's something going on behind the scenes. And we as society, we don't even make any effort to understand why they're acting their way. And then to top it off, the part that pisses me off, the very people that are permitting the ill treatment of these star childs or these celebrities, they'll be the ones sitting across from them giving them interviews, bringing up the horrendous situations they went through. Like, so you cut your hair up, you shaved your hair off, and you know why that person shaved their head off. So you're re-traumatizing them because you're taking them through that uh, uh, event again. You know exactly why they did what they did. You're part of the system. It's a whole thing in Hollywood. It's crazy. They're binding people. They play mental games. They keep people trapped. You have no way out. That's why a lot of these celebrities are the way they are because they don't see a way out. It's, a sh it's either you get with the system or they, they blackball you. You want to be in movies, you have to do what they say. You want to have music, you have to do what they say. You know how many careers P. Diddy blocked? Do you know how many amazing artists we missed out on just because P. Diddy was nasty as heck, allegedly? Do you know how many amazing artists we've missed out on simply because they wouldn't do what he wanted them to do? And then look at the FBI as well. How are you accusing someone of this level of crime, but they are able to fly off? Usually when the FBI is coming to do a raid, that means they have all the evidence they need on someone. There's no way out. So how does P. Diddy have the capability to be able to fly away? It's a set of people. They're playing with us. They are playing with us. This is what's going on with these people. The Piper is here to collect. It said, remember I gave you my $500,000 and you said you're going to block these two people from coming together. You're going to block this person from receiving this opportunity. Here it is. They're still reconnecting. I need my money. You don't have my money? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? There's other ways for me to collect. I'm going to need your cousin Keisha. Okay? And also, oh, I didn't tell you this. I don't just want Keisha. I want you too. Yeah. Okay? Oh, on top of that, I want your business as well. From now on, 50% of your business revenue belongs to me. I want your house too. You don't have my $500,000? You don't have my million dollars? Yeah. Okay. That's real cute. Please, 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 I'm begging you, man. Man, I'm telling you, I'm so sorry. Like, I really try. The devil don't care about how hard you try. The devil cares about results. That's all the devil cares about. Re return on investment.
ROI. That's all the devil cares about. The devil said, I invested in you. You came to me and asked me for, my, for, for me to invest in you. Okay? Now I am expecting my ROI. I am going to need my return on investment and it better be up to part. Oh, you can't fulfill. Oh, I don't know what to tell you, but <laughs> again, Keisha, uh, cousin Keisha, you, your business, your house, until my $500,000 is paid back, until my million dollars is paid back, there's always a price to pay people. If someone is not bothering you, don't bother them. We need to learn this lesson. Our mothers taught us this lesson. Our parents taught us that lesson growing up. If someone don't fool with you, what? Don't fool with them. If it ain't got nothing to do with you, what? Leave it alone. If you don't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Our parents taught us basic man uh, uh, manners, basic human etiquette. But somehow people grow up and they just disregard everything. The simple, those simple sayings were words of wisdom that we should have taken heed to as we got older. You see me here, honey, as gifted as I am, as protected as I know I am. There are certain people when I see them, I don't fool with them because I, I don't even fool with people. I don't care if I'm more gifted than you, whatever, more than you, less than you, I don't care. I don't fool with people. Leave me alone, I leave you alone. I don't know what people are carrying, what kind of forces are with them. So, even though I know I'm always in the clear, okay, I'm not going out of my way to hinder anyone. Hey, if if they want to gift you the White House, obviously the Most High believes you deserve the White House. Congratulations, okay? If Obama wants to marry you, listen, obviously you are fly. I don't know what you're going to do about Michelle because I'm pretty sure she's not having it. But if he decides to marry you, honey, more power to you. That don't have nothing to do with me. We need to learn to mind our own mother effing business. If it ain't got nothing to do with you, don't bring problems to people. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. But some people have to learn the hard way. The devil is here to collect. I'm telling you. The devil is here to collect and people want to move away. These two people they were trying to block are still coming together. You're like, it's a burden. We can't block this person. We can't block these two people. They're still going to connect. This is a divine union. You say, oh, really? Now you know, I'm telling you. Two, six, six, twelve, three, celebration, healing, recovery, sharing, abundance. Okay, it says, listen to what it says. Your guardian angel is teaching you the essence of unconditional love. You are encouraged to have faith that the universe will provide for you while you are manifesting your inner desires. I am positive. That sums it up. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Stay blessed and goodbye for now.